CapCut is a free mobile video editing tool available for Android and iOS. As a result, if a beginner looking to learn how to use CapCut on your mobile phone to edit your video, surely this video editing tutorial will teach you a step-by-step -step process so you can edit video like an expert. This is what you are going to do in order to get started using CapCut app on your phone. If you are an iPhone user, you get it downloaded on Apple Store. For this tutorial purpose, I am going to use an Android phone. Therefore, you click on Play Store. Then on the search bar, type in CapCut. Then you click on it to search for it. This is it. I have it downloaded on my phone. That is the reason you are seeing open in front of my CapCut app. But in the case whereby you are a new user, where you are having open, you are going to have install on it. Therefore, you click on install to have it downloaded on your phone and install. Therefore, I will need to click on open or because I have it on my phone. This is the home page of the CapCut. As a fresh user, all you need to do you have to sign in with either TikTok account or your Gmail account. Any of the account, sign in with it. Therefore, this very particular area where we're having new project, if you want to import any of your project, I mean your video, this is where you are going to click. The same thing where we're having project here. All the projects, all the videos I've made, this is where you are going to have it. But in the case of yours, you are going to have this very particular place empty. Then you begin your work. This is the look of the CapCut video editor interface. Therefore, the first thing we're having there, if you observe where we're having 720p, then you click on it. This is the CapCut video quality setting. Therefore, you can see that we're having resolution 720p. Then we have 1080 and lastly the final resolution we have 2k or 4k therefore this is the resolution and the frame rate if you want to increase it to 30 or this but i prefer 25 then the next thing we have in here is export this is where we download our video after we might have done with the editing then you click on the export button so you have your work downloaded let me go back to it. Another thing I want to discuss is this very particular screen where we're having the video. This is the playback window or preview of our project. Irrespective of any editing you are making, you are going to see the preview through this very particular window. Then another thing I want to discuss is this very particular full screen button. If you click on it, you are going to have the full screen of the video. Then let me go back. Then another thing is this. This is play and pause button. Therefore, it really helps us why we are making editing of our video in order to preview the work. Then this is undo button and this is redo button. If you are using phone, this icon is called frame key. This very particular one is called frame key. Look at it. You can see the red icon here. Let me put it here. You can see. This is frame icon. The total duration of the video, you are going to have it here. Therefore, this total duration, why it is being played, look at it. This very particular white bar will be moving towards the front while it is playing. That indicates the exact duration at which it is being played. Then another thing I want to discuss is this button. This very particular button, it is called or mute clip audio. Therefore, once you click on this to unmute it, it is going to unmute the audio of the video all through. Then another thing I want to ship in is this very particular plus sign. You can see this very particular plus sign. If I should click on it, it means I want to add another clip. I click on it. Then I click on add. So you can see that is the essence of this very particular plus sign we are having there. Then this is our editing timeline. You can see immediately I click on it. We're having 
a particular box at the beginning of the video in which you can tap on it then you drag it you know inwardly to trim it or to cut it or you drag it outwardly you can move it from one place to another aside from that this very particular timeline we're having different clips there then you can drag it inwardly to zoom all the clips together in such a way that you have access to all the clips you can see one two three four clips we're having four clips here and i can also stretch it out by zooming it out i've already zoomed it in this is zooming in by dragging it inwardly then when i drag it outwardly that is to zoom it out this is the essence of this editing timeline then we have some other editing tools that we're having at the bottom here look at them that is that then this very particular area where we're having plus add audio you can also add audio through this very particular function then another thing i want to ship in is this very particular cap cut icon if you look at it at the end of the clip or video you can see cap cut icon there are so many ways of erasing this if you forget to probably you know delete this you are going to have it in your video but it doesn't make it professional therefore all you need to do click on it then you delete so you won't have it there any longer if you don't do it that way there's a particular way that is the work instead of you deleting all the time while you are working on cap cuts therefore all you need to do go to this very particular home page therefore you click on the setting icon we're having at the upper side here click on it then you are going to see add default heading if i should activate it you can see the green color meaning that we are going to have the cap cut icon on my video anytime i work on cap cut i'm going to have it there in a nutshell you have to deactivate this so that it won't be requesting you deleting the cap cut icon each time you visit cap cut video editing therefore all you need to do click on it then discard so automatically i'm not going to have the ending on my video so that is how to go about this try to put the setting to permanent deactivation instead of you deleting each time you are working on your cap cut this is how to import or create clips or files or let me say project on the main editing timeline you click on new project where we're having plus sign in front of it click on it then these are different clips that i want to work on therefore you can do it in two ways the first way is that the clips you want to make use of then select them from here and add it to the timeline this is how to go about it this is the first one that you click on the circle we're having on the project this is the second one then this is the third one then this is the fourth one you have to click on them accordingly the way you want them to appear on the timeline that is how you are going to click on them then you can see from what we're having at the bottom here the first clip this is the second one the third one and the fourth one so you can have them here when you are done with it then you click on add so you are going to have all the clips on the editing timeline in accordance with how you want them to appear now look at it i can just click on it and zoom it in you can see these are the four clips then another thing i want to ship in is this if you observe the clips very well i've zoomed them in in the case whereby you observe that you arrange them wrongly this is what you are going to do let us make the second clips supposed to be at the last clip then just click on it look at it then drag it by moving it to the last position or probably you want it to be at the third position you fix it here so this is how to go about this or probably the first one you want it to be at the last then you just fix it here so this is how to 
do this in a case whereby you make a mistake in arranging them accordingly. Aside from that, you might also intend to add a particular clip, probably that you've forgotten. If you observe that you are going to have it immediately after the first clip, after you might have made your video, just put the bar on the white square we're having there, then you click on plus sign. This very particular plus sign, click on it and have the video there. So automatically the video will be placed there. It depends on anywhere you want to fix it. So that is how to go about this. That is the first way of doing it. Then let me go to the second way of doing this. Then I go back. The second way of importing your files on the timeline is this. Click on the plus sign, I mean new project. This is the first video I want on the timeline. In this case, I don't need of clicking on the circle. Just click on any part of the video. Then I click on it. This is it. Then the next thing I will need to click on, add. This is it. Then, if I want another clip, I will come here. I click on plus. Then, this is the second one I want. I click on it. Then I will add. Then I want another one. I click on plus. I will click on this. Then I click on add. This is the second way of importing our clips or videos to the timeline. Look at it. I zoom it in. I will show you how to cut or trim your clips. I mean your video footages on the timeline. There are three ways in which you can actualize this. It's either you cut the clips at the beginning or in the middle or you fix the cutting at the end of the video. Therefore, let me lay my hands on cutting the clips of the video at the beginning. Okay, I don't want all these parts to appear in the video. I want it to begin from where the text pops up. Therefore, I will need to fix it here. Okay, then I click on the text. Therefore, all I will need to do, I will need to click on split. You can see that the beginning of the video has been splitted into two. I click on it. Look at it. You can see that we're having white rectangle at the beginning and at the end of the part of the clip we don't want. Therefore, I will need to click on delete. You can see. Let me play it. You can see that it begins with where the text pops up. Therefore, let me go to the end of the video. In this case, I don't want the text to appear. I don't want it to pop up at the end of the video. This is where I want it. I want it to stop here. Therefore, I will need to click on the clips. Then, split pops up at the bottom here. Then, I will click on split. Then, I will need to delete the Part I don't want. Then I will come to the middle. Before then, let me play it. You can see that the text is not appearing at the end of the video any longer. Then let me come to the middle. To the middle. If you want to cut it, this is how you go about it. In the middle, the part I don't want, I don't want immediately at the end of the text. I don't want the appearance of the sneaker in the video. Therefore, we need to click on the clips. Then I click on split at the bottom here. Then I will need to come here. Okay. Then this is it. Then I will click on the clips. Then I will need to click on split. You can see that we're having in the middle here two squares. That is the part I don't want in the video. If the part you want to delete is spacious, all you need to do, just click on the clip, then you delete it, you can see. But in the case of a bar, it's not spacious. Preferably, just put the white bar in the middle of what you want to delete. Then you click on edit, it will be highlighted. After then, you click on delete. Let me play it. You can see that we don't have it any longer there. Therefore, this is how to cut the part of the clips we don't want in our video. 
This session will teach you how to add overlay to your main or primary video. However, you can overlay your video with different things, such as photos, video, green screen, stickers, and so on and so forth. Therefore, I will begin with adding overlay a video to our main or primary video. To actualize this, click on overlay that we're having at the bottom here. Click on it. Then you click on where we're having plus in a square. Add overlay. Click on it. Then this is the video I want to make use of. I click on it. Then I will need to click on add. This is the video. You can see that we're having it on top of the main video. Therefore, there are so many ways you can do this. You can expand it in such a way that it covers the main video. Or probably you can make it smaller by positioning it on the screen. Anywhere you prefer it, you can fix it here or here. Or probably this very particular area. It depends on your choice. Or probably you make it bigger by covering the old screen. Aside from that, another thing I want to ship in on this very particular overlay is that it has to do with the duration. Take for instance, if I want the duration of the video, I mean how I want it to appear on the main video, then I can now fix it probably. I want it for nine seconds or one minute. It depends on how I want it. Then let me play it. You can see that immediately the overlay one stops. It continues with the main video. Or probably I can decide to fix it in the middle here. It depends on how you want to overlay your video. Still on the same video. I want to add photo over this very particular main video. Then I will need to click on add overlay. Then these are the pictures. Okay, I want to click on this. I click on it, then I click on add. Then I might decide to make it bigger as I've explained earlier. Or probably if I want to make it smaller, I fix it here. Aside from that, I can also make the picture to be two on the screen. Let me fix this one here as well. Then I will need to make it smaller. I will need to fix it here or this very particular area. It depends on how you want it. If you observe this very particular overlay, the two picture, you'd observe that they are not beginning at the same place. Therefore, I can now fix it. I want them to begin at the same time. Therefore, this is how I will do it. But if I don't want them to appear at the same time, then I can now fix this one here. Then look at it. So it depends on your choice. Aside from that, I can also adjust the duration of the picture to be one second. And the other one, I will need to adjust it as well. Then you arrange them accordingly. It depends on how you want it. Another thing I want to add as overlay to this main video is green screen. Then let me click on add overlay. I click on overlay. Then I want to make use of this very particular one. I click on it. Then I click on add. Then this is it. If I want it to cover all the old screen, I can do it that way. Let me fix it this way. Then this is the duration I want for the green screen. Let me duplicate this very particular one. Then I scroll to the bottom here. I look for duplicate i click on it now i want it here but in this case i want the green part of the background of the overlay video to be removed therefore this is what i'm going to do i click on the green screen then i will come to this other particular area at the bottom here i look for remove bg then the next thing i'm going to do i will click on chroma key i click on it then the next thing if you observe this very particular chroma key, we're having color picker. Then come to the screen of your video. Then fix it. I want the green color to be, you know, deleted. You can see. You can see the circle. 
that it highlighted the green if i fix it for here i want the white color to be deleted but in this case i want to remove the green color then i will place it in such a way that it will align the green then i can now work on the intensity you can see i've reduced it to zero if i want to increase it i increase it as well so in such a way that i will need to delete the background the green background then i fix it for 13 is okay then the shadow you work on it probably zero or you leave it for seven or five depends on you then the next thing you click on this very particular check mark to have it saved i click on it meaning that i don't want the green background on the overlay video look at it once i play it therefore the green background has been removed i can click on the overlay video i click on it then i can now drag it inwardly to reduce the size or drag it outwardly to increase the size let me drag it inwardly a little bit then i can now fix it anywhere i want it to be it could be here or here or anywhere it depends on you then the last one i want to discuss with us as regards the overlay is overlaying sticker on our video therefore this is what you are going to do then go back then come to this very particular area then click on sticker once you click on the sticker you are going to have different stickers on CapCut. You can see the headings under the stickers. Then you cannot play around the headings to decide the one you want to pick your sticker. Let me click on this. Then I'll prefer this. Let me click on subscribe. Then I want another one again. Let me look for this very particular one. I click on like. I want this as well then i might decide to click on this i click on this then let me choose the arrow i click on this click on this as well then i'll click on this check mark this very particular like let me click on it then i can bring it to the front then i decrease the duration mm -hmm. let me fix it for this then i will need to fix it here then i can reduce it i mean the size by dragging it inwardly i fix it here then subscribe i click on subscribe and try to reduce it then i will need to reduce this as well and fix it somewhere here then this very particular arrow i click on it i fix this here then i can rotate this i can rotate it then I will fix it somewhere. I can fix it here or here. Let me fix it here. Then I click on this uh, pointer. Then I will need to reduce it. Then I can also rotate it as well. Then I'll fix it here. If you observe it very well, if I want all the stickers to begin from the same place, I can fix it by doing it this way. <laughs> so this is it then let me fix this here so that is how to go about this and if you want to retain the sticker throughout the video there's no problem all you need to do just click on it let's assume in this like then you drag it to the beginning of the video then you also drag it to the end of the video meaning that the button will be there throughout the video you can see it will be there throughout the video it depends on how you can do it aside from that all these stickers or overlay you can also still delete them if you want to delete them just click on them and delete you can see it has deleted then let me undo it and if you want to probably delete the overlay as well then you click on the overlay then you delete so that is how you can add your overlay to your main video to add text or title to your videos this is what you are going to do at the bottom here click on t 
where we're having text. The next thing I'm going to click on add text where we're having A with a plus sign beside it. Then you click on it. Once you click on it, the default text pops up. Therefore, I me concept. This is what I want here. Then another thing I want to ship in text on your video. You can fix it anywhere you want by moving it from one place to another using your hands to move it from anywhere you want to fix it aside from that if you don't want the text you can easily click on the black circle where we're having cancel sign in it on the screen i mean this very particular area let me click on it you can see it has disappeared now let me undo it if i want to increase or probably decrease the font size i can also use my hand by dragging it inwardly in order to reduce it and dragging it outwardly in order to increase it i mean the size CapCut is having so many things we can do on our text if you look at it we're having templates but i don't want to go to this for now for the templates the CapCut are having different templates on this very particular section where you can choose your titles or anything you want to fix in on the video now here the next heading is font you click on the font we have a different types of fonts here look at it as i'm clicking on it the fonts are changing this is how to go about it this is it now let me choose that system okay then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to work on the style and we need to click on the styles under the styles cap cut are having different presets in which we can choose let me click on this you can see the changes in the text the same thing is let me click on this you can play around it and see to how it works look at it so this is how to go about this very particular inbuilt preset we're having on the cap cut now i don't want this then i have to click on this in order to take it back to the previous settings then another thing i can still do on this under the styles if you look at this place where we're having different colors here yeah. if i want to choose any color for my font i can easily choose it from here this is it you can see this is how to go about it now another thing i want to discuss is this let me choose this white then the size look at it if you drag it to the right hand side you are increasing it why if you drag it to the left i mean to the back you are reducing the size the other thing is the opacity look at it this has to do with the extent of the transparency of the text if I fix it for 100, you can see this is the work of opacity. Now, other thing I want to discuss here is the stroke. Let me click on the strokes. Now, look at the changes that will happen there now. Look at it. Look at the changes. The same thing with this. If I should click on yellow, look at it. Look at the essence of these strokes now if i don't want it i click on this to take it back to the previous settings now i click on glow now this one is pro but i'll prefer this if i should click on this then you cannot select on the color for the glow look at it look at what is happening here look at it so the other thing i want to discuss under glow is this this intensity look at it if I should increase it, you will see the observation on the text. The same thing with the range. Look at it. This is how to go about it. Try to walk towards it and see to how it works. Then let me take it back to the previous settings. Now let me click on background. I want to work on it. Then do I prefer this or this very particular one? Then if you prefer this, let me click on this and see to how it will happen then let me bring the concept down look at it this is how this works 
So the background, if I want to change the background, I can do it this way. Then click on the color. I'll continue clicking on the color. That is how to go about it. The another thing I want to ship in here, this very particular white icon we're having here, this is called color picker. Then I zoom in if I should click on it. Now look at this circle. If I want the background for the text to be another color, look at it. If I should click on this very particular area, it means that's the color I want for the background. Or let me pick the face of the man. Look at it. The face of the man, it has changed the color. That is how to make use of the color picker. Look at it. So it depends on how you make use of it. Then if I want to choose this background, there are so many things I can do on it. Then if I should pick this, then look, let me look for the color. Let me choose this or let me choose the black. Then the opacity, the opacity of the background. If I want to reduce it, I can do that. Look at it. The other thing is corner radius. Look at it. If I don't want the edges to be curved, but if I want it to be curved, look at it. That is the work of this corner radius. Then the height of the background. You try to work on it. Then the width. Then the last thing we're having, Y offset. Look at it. This is the work of this, the X offset. Try to work on this and see to how it works. Then let me take it back to the format setting. Then other thing I want to discuss here, I've discussed background, the shadow. If I prefer any of the shadow, I can do this by clicking on any of the color. Any of the color, just choose it. Then look at it, the opacity. This is how to work on the opacity. Then if I want the blur, the blurriness, you can see. Then if I want the distance, you try to work on this and see to how it works. That is how we go about this. Then aside from that, let me take it back to the format setting. Then we're having curve. I click on curve. If I want this very particular text to be curved, I click on this. Then the intensity. Look at it. You try to walk around it and see to how it works. If I should take it to the left, look at the reaction. I mean the effect. And look at it. If I should take it to the right hand side, that is how to go about it. I want it to be in previous setting. Then I click on this. Then the next thing I'll be discussing is spacing. I click on spacing. Then I want the text to be written in this way. Okay. This has to do with alignment. If I choose this, I want it to be aligned on the left hand side. If I should click on this, I want it to be in the middle. Why this one at the right hand side? Look at it. But if I should pick this, look at it. Look at what happened. Immediately I click on this. Then, if I should click on this, so this is it. Then, we have scale here. You can use this scale to probably reduce or decrease the font size. Then, the character. Let me bring this here and turn it. Okay. Let me fix it this way. Now, the character. Look at it. If I want the spacing in between the character, then I can use my character tab to do this. Then the line spacing, look at it. This is the line spacing. Try to make use of it and see how it works. The next thing I'll be discussing is bold italics. Then I click on bold italics. If I want to bold it, I click on bold. If I want it to be italics, if I want to underline it, look at it. That is how to go about this very particular feature. Now, I want to undo this. Okay. Now, the next thing is case. I click on it. If I want all the characters, I mean all the letters to be in capital letter or true, I click on this. And if I want it to be small letter, you can see. If I want initial capital, this is how I'm going to go about it. Then the next thing I'll be discussing is effect. I will need to click on the effect heading. 
Let me click on it. Now, as we're having this effect, we're having different sub headings under it. We're having trending basic luminance, multicolor, yellow, red, blue, gray, pink. Now it depends on your choice. Let me click on this very particular multicolor. CapCut is having them. They are inbuilt preset text. Look at it, the format. It now depends on the one you want to make use of. If you click on luminance, you are going to have all this. Then if you click on basic, try to walk towards this and see to which one you want to pick. Then the next thing I'm going to discuss is animation. This very particular text, we can also animate it. Then I click on animation. Then the animation, do I want it to be in or out or loops? It depends on any one I prefer. Then let me click on this. Throughout, let me click on it. You can see. Then if I should click on bounce in, this is how this will work. Let me click on pop up. On this, we can also work on the duration of the animation. Look at it. Then let me click on out. I can decide to click on any of these. If you click on this, look at the effect. If I should click on this, so you try to sit down and work on it and see to the one you want to make use of. The same thing, if I should click on loop, loop has to do with both in and out. It's a combination of in and out. Look at it. If I should click on this, so it depends. Try to work towards it and see to how it works. Then you can also work on the duration. As I've said, look at it. Fast, slow. Let me fix it here. It depends on how you want to make your video. It's time to reveal to you how to convert text to speech. Therefore, you click on T. I mean the text at the bottom here. Then you click on A, where we're having add text. Then you type in this video. Okay. You can customize your text. Therefore, look at it. This is font. You can choose any of the fonts you prefer. Let me choose elegant, rubic. Okay. Let me leave it for rubic. Then let me go to styles. I click on styles. I can prefer this or this. It depends on your choice, but I don't want to waste much of our time on this. Then the size, I can decide to increase the size from here or to decrease the font. It depends on you. Aside from that, you can also come to the screen here. You see that you drag it inwardly in order to reduce it or probably outwardly in order to increase the size. Then you can also change the color here, but by the time you try to work on it, you understand better of this, but I don't want to waste much of our time on this. And if you want to click on effect, you can also play around it and see to how it works. Then you click on this check mark. The next thing you come to the bottom here, click on text to speech. Then we have different voices here. You can decide any one you want to pick. These are male voices. These are female. You can see the headings. So I prefer male. Then let me go to the one that is free. Look at it, Thomas. In this, In this video. video. British male. In this, In this video. video. Then I want American male. Let me play it. In this, In this video. video. So I will prefer this. I will click on this check mark. So it is going to generate it. It has finished generating the speech. It has turned the text to speech. Now let me play it. In this, In this video. video. You can see. Then I want to hide another text. Let me click on it. Then I will need to fix what I want to type there. I paste it. Then I will need to come to the screen and drag it inwardly in order to reduce the size. Then I will click on the check mark. Then I click on text to speech. Then I click on America mail. I will, I will be, be revealing, revealing this to you. to you. Then I click on generate. 
you can see it has finished generating the speech now let me play it in this, in this video, video i will, I will be, be revealing, revealing this to you. to you then aside from that this very particular text if i don't want it i can click on the text from the timeline then i will come to the bottom here i delete or if i don't do it that way let me undo it i click on it then i come to the screen the cancel icon we're having at the upper side of the text box then i click on it in order to delete it then i come to the second one i come to the bottom here i delete it these are the two ways in which you can delete the text in a case whereby you don't want the text now let me play it you observe that uh, there is no text there in, in this, this video, video i will, I will be, be revealing, revealing this to you. to you so it depends on your choice but let me undo it so that we have the text there in, in this, this video, video i will, I will be, be revealing, revealing this to you. to you now for you to see the audio or the speech generated clearly let me go back you can see the sound is the sound generated Therefore, this is how to go about this. It's time to show you how to add animation to your overlay bureau clips in CapCut. Therefore, this is what you are going to do. This is it. This is the first overlay. Aside from adding transition to our main clip, we can also add transition to the overlay clips. Therefore, you click on animation at the bottom here. We are having in animation, this is out animation, and this is combo animation. In animation, this take effects at the beginning of the clips. Why out take effect at the end of the clips? Why combo takes effects within the two, as in in and out or throughout the clips? Let me begin with in. Look at it. If I should click on this, then that is fading then we have this let me click on this by the time you play around it you understand better of the function of this very particular animation but it now depends on the one you want to make use of so after you might have done with it then you click on this very particular check mark and also you can also still work on the duration by dragging it to the front and backward this is rotation you can see this is split this is slide right slide left we have rotate in some of them they're out this is out if i should pick out you can see this is it then you try to walk towards it by playing around it then if i want to pick combo i can also work on combo don't forget you can work on the duration as well the duration you work on it then you click on combo this is combo i click on this you try to work and play around it so that you see how it works then after you might have done with it then you click on check mark you can also do the same thing to the picture the picture we have in here and this very particular picture that is how to go about adding animation to our overlay clips. To add music or sound effect to your video, there are two ways to actualize this. You see that you click on the audio that we're having at the bottom here, this very particular audio, you click on it. Or probably you click on the audio that we're having plus sign in it where we're having add audio that we have underneath the clip that we're having on the timeline let me click on it then you are going to arrive at uh, this very particular area or probably if you click on audio you are still going to arrive at the same thing then the next thing you click on sound now this is what we're having here we're having vlog summer love travel pop and so on and so forth now if probably you have a particular audio in mind then you click on search songs or artists then you click on this search bar to look for the audio you want to add to the video or probably you can come to this very particular area where we're having recommended you can click on any of the audio 
or probably you click on the next one where we're having extracted and probably this is the device this device means that all the audio that you've downloaded that you have on your phone then you can have them here i can now click on any of them and make use of them on my video and aside from that this very particular extracted probably i've extracted a particular audio from a video then i'm going to have them on this very particular list then let me go up let me click on vlog these are the audios or the music we're having here then let me click on this immediately you click on it CapCut is going to play it for you in order to preview the audio for you then after you might have done with that then you can now click on this very particular plus sign that we're having in front of it to have it placed on the timeline let me play this let me click on this now let me choose this one i click on the plus sign then this is it if you look at the audio very well you observe that it doesn't match with the clip therefore all you need to do just click on it drag it inwardly by moving it to the front you can see this is it now let me play it another thing i want to ship in on this very particular area if you observe that the volume is too high you can reduce it then you come to the volume icon we're having at the bottom here you click on it then you can now decrease it to probably 20 or let me say 30 then you click on this check mark to save it then let me play it so that is how to go about that then aside from that look at it this very particular audio is longer than the clip if i want to do it there are two ways of doing it if i notice that i want to make use of this very particular clip i'm not using any other clip then i click on it i bring it to the end of the clip then i will click on split then you can see that it has uh, splitted it into two by highlighting the other part we don't want then you cannot click on delete here so you have it deleted let me play it you can see that is the essence of this let me undo it i've undo it aside from that if you don't want to do it that way there are other ways you can do it as well you come to the end of this very particular audio then you click on it this is it then you drag it inwardly by dragging it to the front this is it then you bring it to the end of the video okay this is it this is another way of doing this then another thing i still want to say here let's assume i want another clip on this very particular video then i cannot click on this very particular plus sign i click on it to have another clip then i click on this i will click on add then this is another clip if i prefer the same audio for the clip then i will need to just drag it to the front then i will need to stop it where we're having the end of the clip let me play now this is how to go about this aside from that if i don't want to use the same audio i mean sound or music for the two clips then i will need to undo it then i will need to fix another audio for this very particular one then the next thing i'm going to do i click on sound then i click on fill log next thing i will click on this one then this is it now let me play it then i will need to reduce the volume of the second audio to 30 as well then i will need to click on the check mark now you can see this is the end of the video if i discover that i don't need any clip there again then i will need to split it and delete it or probably i trim it 
the way I've done it previously. This is how to add audio to our video. This is how to fade out the ending part of your video so as to make it look professional. Therefore, if you want to do this, you have to make the fade out to the clip of the video, likewise that of the audio, but it depends on how you want it. Let me click on the video and make it to fade out. Then I click on the video. Look at it. This is the ending. I click on animation. Then I will need to click on out. From there, you are going to see fade out. Then you click on fade out. Then the fade out, do I want it to be one second or two seconds or three seconds? It depends on how I want to make it. If I want the fade out to commence immediately when it is three seconds to the ending of the video, this depends on how you want to do it. You might set the fade out to probably three seconds to the ending of the video or two seconds to the ending of the video. It depends on you. Well, let me fix this for three seconds. Okay, this is it. Then I click on check mark. Let me play the ending and see what it will happen. She said, Not tomorrow. I don't know how many of you are speaking. You can see that is how to fade out our video. Now let me go to the audio. This is audio. Then I click on it. I will need to click on fade. I want the audio to fade out when it is eight seconds to the ending of the video then i click on check mark let me play it towards the eight seconds and see what will happen you can see that is how to make use of this very particular effect in order to fade out both our video and audio out here is how to make auto caption to your video. This is what you are going to do. You see that you click on text. If you click on text, then you click on auto caption. Or if you don't do it that way, then you come to where we are having, this is caption. You click on caption, it will take you to the auto captions directly. Stay the same way. Now, all you need to do, this is the interface of the auto caption. Now, you click on this very particular arrow where we're having language, click on it. Then you can now select the language for your caption. But in this case, I prefer English. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I will need to click on generate. Some of these features are pro, but I don't need all those one. Now, the next thing I will need to click on generate. Now it's generating the captions. It is going to give us subtitle to the video. Let's wait till it gives the caption. Look at it. If you look at the video very well, but you observe that there are some errors there. Therefore, we need to fix this error. Firstly, if you observe the beginning of the sentence, what? You observe that it is not in capital letter. It is in small letter. Therefore, we need to change it to capital letter. Not only that, if you look at the end of the words, I mean the sentence, you observe that uh, there's no punctuation there, nothing like question mark or full stop. Therefore, if you look at this very well, it requires question mark. Therefore, I will need to edit the caption. Not only that, we have some sentences that are you know joined together we need to do the edit to this therefore we need to click on edit caption then i will need to click on what then i will change it to capital w okay then what are the first words you should say in the speech i will need to have question mark here then to the second one you change this to capital letter and what are the last words you should say in the speech? Put question mark there as well. Then another thing I want to lay my hands on, on this very particular auto caption, is this very particular area. I click on in front of this. Will. Then I want to 
merge, then I click on merge, then 19 out of 20 speakers will start in one of these ways. So I've merged that together. The other thing I will need to click on where we're having small n, I will need to change this to 19. Okay, capital N, the same thing, these two, I will need to delete it. Okay, I put full stop. Look at this very particular one. My name is, you have to change this and correct it. This is how you go about it. If you observe any error there, you try to work on it. Then let me discuss on another thing. If you look at this subtitle, I want to make it feasible for the viewer. Therefore, all I will need to do, I will need to click on it. Then let me split it into two. What are the first words you should Okay, let me click on this. Okay, I want to have it this way. Then, I will need to come to the style. Then, the font size, let me increase it to probably 10. I'm okay, 10. Then I click on it to save it, to have it saved. This is it. Apply to auto caption. Meaning that whatever that happened to this very particular page, it will happen to all the pages apply to auto caption. Because of the size of increase, you are going to discover that all the pages, the same thing that happened to this page will happen to all other pages. Let me go to the pages and see it. Look at it. Look at it now. Look at it. So that is the power of CapCut. Let me go to the one I corrected the other time. My tint out of 20 speaker will start in one of the ways. That is how to make auto caption in our video. If you want to adjust the audio volume of your video, this is what you will do. Therefore, this has to do with three things. Firstly, we are having the main video. Likewise, the overlay video and that of the audio that we've added to the video so this is what i'm going to do let's assume the audio that i added to this very particular video i want to reduce it then i click on it therefore this is volume i click on it then i will need to reduce it to probably 25 or 20 let me fix it for 20 oh your, your blog and website, website. Then if I'm okay with it, I click on this very particular check mark. Then let me go to the overlay video. This is the overlay video. Let me play it. You observe that the overlay video, we are hearing the audio. Likewise, that of the main video. But in this case, I don't want audio for the overlay video. Let me play it so that you can listen to it. Both the main video and the overlay video. Therefore, you click on the overlay video. This is it. Then you come to the bottom here. Click on the volume icon. Then you can now reduce it or if you want to increase it. In this case, I want to reduce the volume of the audio to zero. Yes. Then I will need to click on this check mark. Now let me play it. Should say, say in, in a speech. speech. I want the last word. You can see that we couldn't hear the audio any longer. Now. Let's assume the main video. I want to increase the volume. Then I click on it. Then I come to this. I scroll to look for volume. Then I can now increase it. First words you should say in a speech. If I want to reduce it, I can do that as well. Then when I'm done, I click on this check mark to save it. That is how to go about adjusting the audio volume of our video. This is how to blur someone's face in your video. Therefore, you click on effect at the bottom here, click on it. Then you click on body effects. Then we have a sub headings under this body effect. Then you scroll to look for mask. You click on it. Then you can now choose any of your choice. Let me click on this. Look at it. Then you can decide to choose this. 
or this or this that is how to blow the face but i'll prefer this very particular face mosaic then this is the one i want to make use of then another thing i want to ship in if i want to make adjustment to this very particular blurring then i click on this face mosaic again then you can see the range i can increase it the size i can increase it you can see but i would prefer to have it this way then after i might have done with that then you click on this very particular check mark to have it saved this is it we're having it on the timeline then the next thing if i want the blurring to take effect throughout the video then i will need to drag it to the end of the clip i mean to the end of the video this is it this is how to blur someone's face in your video if you want to blur the entire video of yours do this at the bottom here click on effect from there you click on video effect then we're having some headings under this very particular video effect then you click on lens then scroll up to look for blur this is it then if i want to adjust it you click on it again then you can see the adjustment if i want to decrease the adjustment or i want to increase it this will determine the extent how i want it to be blurred now you can see this is it this is how to go about this then i will click on the check mark the next thing i want it throughout the video i will need to drag it to the end this is it now let me play it you can see this is how to blow the entire video of your video this aspect of the tutorial will show you how to reformat your video through aspect ratio therefore this is what you are going to do aspect ratio then you click on it if you look at it very well we are having 16.9 this is the youtube format for the video then this is the tiktok 9.16 we're having instagram as well any of the formats you want to make use of then you click on it if you look at this very well the format has been changed therefore all you need to do after you might have picked your choice then you click on this very particular check mark if you observe it very well you notice that we're having the clip of the video in the middle look at it there are some other things you can do to it you can use two fingers to stretch it out by zooming it out then this is it to fit in the page then you can now play it look at it this is the way you can do it then if you don't do it that way there are some other way you can also do it let me undo it this is the original video then you come to the background here click on background then if you want to choose color for the background you can choose any one look at it then aside from that if you're okay with it click on the check mark then you can also click on blur to choose any of the blur we're having among the types we're having here it depends on you then aside from that you can also come to the image here you click on image then pick this or this or this it depends on your choice look at it then let me play it so it depends on your choice then let me back it to undo it this is the original video aside from doing it manually the one i've done by changing it to tiktok is manually but if i want to auto reframe it i can click on the clips then i will come to the bottom here to look for auto reframe but this one has to do with the pro fashion let me click on it then i fix it for tiktok you can see so it is going to reframe it automatically then if i'm okay with it i click on this check mark look at it so this is how to reframe it automatically 
without doing it manually. But this has to do with the pro fashion. Therefore, this is how to reframe or reformat our video to fit in the aspect ratio of the video we are intending to produce. Here is how to add transition to our videos. Therefore, you notice that we're having a white square between the clips. This is the first one. Then we're having another one here. This is another one. Therefore, if you want to add your transition, in order to make your video look professional, you will click on the white square in the middle. Click on it. Or probably, you see that you click on the white square or you bring it to where we are having the white bar on the timeline then click on it immediately you click on it you are going to see different transition that pops up therefore we are having different subheadings under transition this is overlay we have for camera blur basic light effects and so on and so forth then i click on slide for this tutorial purpose the next thing i click on cube then the duration for the transition i want to increase it to one seconds okay i fix this for one seconds then if i'm okay with it i click on this check mark this is it then let me play it you can see then let me go to the second transition without placing it on the white bar as i've said earlier you can also click on the white square then you click on it for this time around i want to make use of split then i cannot pick any of the two let me click on this then you can see or probably if i want to choose this it depends on your choice and when you are done you can work on the duration for the transition or you leave it that way so this is it this is how to go about the transition to zoom in your video this is what you are going to do therefore immediately i click on it look at this very particular area this diamond shape pops up immediately this is called keyframe icon in CapCut. therefore this keyframe does a lot in CapCut. so if i want to zoom in video this is what i'm going to do let's assume i want the zoom in to begin from here I will need to click on the diamond icon, which is the keyframe while you are using your phone. Therefore, I will need to play the video or probably to move the clips to the front by doing it this way. Then, even though I get to where I want to zoom in, I will need to stop there. Therefore, what I'm going to do, I will just put my fingers on the screen of the video by dragging it outwardly indicating that i want to zoom in the video look at it you just do it this way immediately i do this you observe that the diamond icon i mean the keyframe appears automatically where we're having the white bar on the timeline this is it now let me play it and you observe the zooming action there i mean the zooming effect you can see the effect. But what will happen is that if the keyframes are far away from each other, the effects will be very slower. But in the case whereby the keyframes are closer to each other, the movement will be faster. Let me put it here. Then I will need to delete this one. I click on it. Then immediately I, I click on it. Then I will need to click on the diamond icon at the upper side there. It is deleted. Now let me refix it here. Very closer to the first keyframe. Then I will need to zoom in. Let me play it. You can see. You can see that the effect of zoom in in that case take place faster. do this in order to zoom out your video take for instance i want the zoom out to take effect from this very particular area then i will need to click on the diamond icon which is the key free 
I click on it. I want the zoom out to begin from here. Then I will need to click on the diamond icon, which is the keyframe. I click on it. Then I will move it closer to this very particular area. Let me move it closer to each other. I want the effect to be faster. Then I will need to drag it inwardly. Then you can see the diamond icon, which is the keyframe. It has appeared there automatically. Let me play it. You can see. You can see the effect of the zooming out. Then if I want the zoom out to be slower, then I will need to delete this. Then let me fix it here. Then I will need to drag it inwardly in order to zoom it out. Look at what will happen there. Let me play it. You can see that the movement of the zoom out is a bit slower. That is how to go about this very particular feature. The aspect I will be discussing with us now is how to apply color grading to our video. Therefore, all you need to do, come to where you are having filter or adjust, either of the two. Click on any of the two. The two function links each other. Therefore, let me click on filter. This is filter. I cannot decide to pick any of them. Look at it. Let me click on this robust. You will see what will happen to the color of the video. Let me click on this. You can see what is really happening. Try to play around with the app and see to how you can apply your color grading. Let me apply this as well. I can click on scenery. Look at what is happening. Movies. So you choose any of your choice. Mono. I can click on this. Look at what is really happening. Just continue. I can click on this. Look at the color. That is black and white. Then you continue like that. If I don't want the filter, I click on this. So it will take me to the original quality of the video. Now I click on adjust. As I've told you that both filter and adjust link each other. Then this has to do with manual adjustment. Take for instance, all this. Let me start from saturation. Then drag it to the back in order to reduce the color of the video. This is black and white. Then if I should drag it to the front, you are going to say, look at it. The color of the video has improved. So that is how to go about it. Then the contrast. Click on contrast. This is the contrast. Then you try to lay your hands on it. You see to how it works. Then other things are there. Sharpen. Just try to lay your hands on it and see to how it works. Then we have a HCL. You try to lay your hands on it. This is shadow. So that is how to apply color grading to our video. This is how to export, I mean to download your project or your videos in order to have it saved on your device. Therefore, this is what you are going to do. You click on where we're having the settings, 1080p. Then you click on it. Then do you want to have it for 720 or 1080 or 2K or 4K? It depends on you. But if you observe it, if I want it to be 2K or 4K, you can see that the estimated file size at the bottom has changed to 103 megabytes. If I want it for 1080, we have it for 47 megabytes. Not only that, if you want to increase the frame, look at it, 56 megabytes. If you want to increase it to 60, that is 84 megabyte, but I prefer 25 megabyte. Then look at it, this code rate, you can fix it for recommended. But if you want to increase it to high, you have it for 56 megabyte instead of 47 megabyte. The same thing with this. When you are done with the settings, then you cannot click on export. So your project will be downloaded on your device. That is how to go about this very particular feature.